You know, it's weird because the PlayStation seems to set the graphical standard with video games, no matter what generation it is. Like, if you look back to the PS3 era, although I think stuff like Gears of War really kind of is a uh, is a trendsetter in terms of graphics as well but if you look at the ps3 you know stuff like uncharted was really really graphically intense and so was like the last of us and you look ahead to the ps4 and stuff like god of war and of course horizon uh even though i'm not a big horizon zero dawn fan or horizon forbidden west fan those games look tremendous graphically so Obviously, when you see games look that great and then you see that that console, the PS5, uh, now is technically inferior to the Xbox Series X, people want to see the graphical capabilities of the Xbox Series X put out there in full force. And when that doesn't happen, people kind of speak up a little bit and, you know, mention things like this. So, you know, for me personally, I think that there are some games like Microsoft just hasn't really put out a lot of games, in my opinion, that, you know, so so obviously they weren't going to be able to put out games that were, you know, equal to that. Also, I want to say that it seems like it's much difficult, uh, much more difficult to do games when you have two Xbox Qs and, you know, uh, PC Day One as well. I think that could be a little bit of a drawback. But Microsoft forges ahead. I think obviously, um, you know, th that's the case here. And, you know, again, I think that Microsoft is starting to kind of find their footing with this whole Xbox thing and graphics and, and stuff like that. I think that's exactly um, what they're starting to kind of come into. Now, everybody wants to compare everything to Horizon Forbidden West. Uh, I don't really understand that. Like, I thought Horizon Forbidden West looked good. But it was not a good game, in my opinion, right? Like, I get that it scored well or whatever. And this is just my opinion. I get that not everybody is going to share my opinion. But, you know, I just felt like that game was kind of chunky and clunky. And, you know, just boring characters and dialogue and things like that. But this isn't necessarily about that. This is about Xbox. Um, the jealousy that comes from a lot of these PlayStation fans is something that I don't understand because Xbox coming out with good games doesn't mean that it invalidates the PlayStation games that have come out or that will come out. Uh, and what I mean by that is this, right? So we all saw the showcase, right? Or, or probably, if you didn't go check it out, it was a, probably the greatest showcase in the last decade. Um, and we saw those, right? And, and it looked great. It started off with Fable, but people are like, oh, well, that Fable, you know, it wasn't real. It's It's got to be CGI. It's got to be this. It's got to be that. Uh, the Fable character is ugly. It's this. It's that. By the way, the Fable character is almost a one-to-one -one likeness of the actress portraying her. So I thought it was kind of crummy that people were kind of all on that, especially since it'll probably likely be multiple uh, create a character instances in this game. I doubt they just stick with, you know, one uh, person or whatever because that wouldn't in my opinion probably wouldn't be fable um, if they did didn't do that so uh, when it comes down to this uh, the fable developer actually flattered by fans asking if the xbox trailer showcase was real people were insinuating that they were faking this we all know before the showcase aaron greenberg of microsoft said hey we're gonna go ahead and show gameplay in engine and cutscenes leading into gameplay. So people were not wanting to see, you know, the uh, CGI and things like that, which I think makes a lot of sense. You don't want, you know, the CGI to be out there in front and things like that. It tends not to be a representation of what these games end up looking like. And, you know, that's just, that's just the truth. So um, now that the dust has settled on the showcase, Fans have started to focus on certain elements of the show, discussing what impressed them most of all from the event. Fable has been talked about a lot, not least because some viewers believe the trailer could be CGI. It isn't, of course. That much has been confirmed. But one dev working on the project takes this as a huge compliment anyway. Taking to Twitter, Playground Games lead lighting artist uh, Lucas Coles reckons that people question whether the trailer contained real footage is one of the best compliments 
you could give. He says, people not believing this is quote-unquote real or that the game will not look like this is one of the best compliments that you could give. Fable. Clearly, the UK-based team is confident in what's being created with the Fable reboot then. They're saying the game will look like this trailer when it ships, basically. The confidence alone is getting everyone very excited uh, to go hands-on with the game as well. You have to remember that these are the folks behind the Forza Horizon series. So while we haven't seen much evidence of their RPG-making chops, we do know that the team can make gorgeous-looking open-world titles. And I've been saying this since the very beginning. When I first saw what... Uh, you know, that the Playground Games is going to be handling the Fable game. Um, I said, well, if you look at that Forza engine, which is what they're using, uh, it makes all the sense in the world that they're going to have different seasons and they're going to have like, um, you know, like day night cycle, probably weather, all that kind of stuff is going to all be taken care of um, right from the get go. And I love that. I love the fact that you know, they're able to kind of do that and, and accomplish these things that uh, that engine can do because that's one of the great things. Uh, Fable always promised these interesting things and, you know, now it seems like they're able to finally maybe perhaps take care of it and do it in a way that has everybody kind of in awe of what's going on. And that's exactly kind of what we're seeing here. Like people were like so bent out of shape on the other side that this game looks, in my opinion, better uh, than Horizon Forbidden West and Horizon Zero Dawn that, you know, that, that they, they can't stand it, right? Like, what did you guys think? I mean, seriously, did you think that Xbox Studios would never come out with games that could take full advantage of the platform? Like, it, it's so ignorant to think that, you know? And, and we're seeing all these amazing things um, kind of come together and, and, and be just really, really... Um, you know, uh, incredible, you know? So anyway, I, I hope, I hope that we see people kind of come around to the idea that, um, you know, Microsoft is, is, is really bringing it, you know, these dev teams have all the time, all the money, everything that, uh, that they need. And I, I can't wait to see more of this game. I want to see it in action. I mean, we did get to see what looked like some gameplay with this and they did a good job of mixing it between the, you know the uh kind of cgi or not cgi but like the cutscene cinematics and and then the, the gameplay so i think this game is going to look incredible it's going to look gorgeous it's going to be uh like the next big thing in my opinion like this is going to be it and microsoft is killing it in the area of rpgs i mean let's just be real with that right there i think everybody's on the same page right like microsoft is absolutely killing it with this and i have to say it makes me incredibly happy to see them uh kind of get some of the the credit that they deserve for creating some of these games and making sure that you know we get the games that we've been asking for so i'm gonna link this what do you guys think about this looking better than horizon i think so but hey maybe you don't let's let's sound off and and, and see what everybody thinks rack them up i'm crap gamer this is crap gamer reviews crap gamer out